Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are getting back into Reality Transurfing in 78 Days, a practical course into creating your own reality. Today I have a special exercise for you to change your appearance. I want you to do this exercise for 10 minutes as you're going to sleep at night for three nights. For three nights, 10 minutes, I want you to do this. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna get into that, but I'm gonna first start with this chapter. There's a certain point I wanna get to in this chapter, and then I'm gonna give you the exercise. All right, so really enjoy this chapter here. I wanna couple this with the Law of Assumption because Vadim Zeeland really doesn't go too much in the Law of Assumption. He's more about attacking the 3D world instead of, instead of going into the psychological world and changing things first. But I do appreciate his work in this book. Okay, so I am my goal. Okay, so if you have been ditched and are suffering from unrequited love or a breakup, or if you are looking for love, you must first of all love yourself. If you do not yet feel that you can love yourself just as you are, start taking care of yourself and focusing on your own personal development. Enroll at a sports center. Commit to studying a foreign language. Try dressing differently. Not in your usual style. Get a magic tattoo. Find a magic talisman, a pendant, or a ring. When you start taking care of yourself, you will find a new sense of purpose. Looking after yourself could become your goal if you have not already found one. This is a truly worthy goal and it will bring you success and abundance. You deserve the very best. You deserve the very best. Impl implant that into your mind. You deserve the very best. Don't let anyone tell you differently. You deserve the absolute best. Interpretation. Here we go, guys. It is human nature that people are only pleased with themselves when other people happen to be pleased with them. And that they, are on they only love themselves when other people love them. Okay, so and yet the world is a mirror. This is actually pretty powerful stuff right here. I really do enjoy this. Okay, so the world is a mirror. How can there be love in the reflection if the image itself does not contain it. That's why this right here is why I came up with this exercise for this chapter, which I'm going to give you here in a second, is because how can there be love in the reflection if the image itself does not contain it? That's why I'm giving you this exercise. It's going to change all of that. Okay, so the mirror cannot reflect what isn't there. It's a vicious mirror circle. So how do we break it? Very simply. Firstly, it is a well-known fact that we love the people we take care of. So pay more attention to yourself. Take care of yourself. Take some me time. Secondly, love is like a boomerang. If you send love out into the world, it will come back to you. You will experience love, including love for yourself. If you shine with love instead of immunating fear. Okay, so mistrust and disapproval. If you take the first step, the reflection will meet you halfway. It is basically a feedback chain. I send love out of the world. Love is reflected and comes back to me. The world reciprocates. I am loved. It follows that I myself, my, myself too and begin to love myself. Okay, guys, so now for the exercise. This is an exercise for the law of assumption because I feel like all of, this that, all of this that he explains in here comes down to how you truly feel about yourself. Do you feel attractive? Do you love yourself? When you look in the mirror, do you see someone that you love? Do you need to change your appearance? Is there anything about your appearance that you would like to change? So that's where this exercise comes in. Okay, so I want you to take 10 minutes every night before you go to sleep at night, and I want you to do this for three nights. I want you to get into bed. I want you to sleep. I want you to lay in an odd position. That way you don't fall right to sleep. And I want you to visualize, visualize yourself looking in the mirror somewhere in your house or your apartment or your condo, wherever you live. And imagine looking at yourself in the mirror with, I mean, an outfit on. Maybe, uh, maybe if you're a guy, you're shirtless. Maybe if you're a girl, you have a bikini on or you have some lingerie on. That way, you and you look at yourself as being very, very attractive. Maybe you look at yourself with ten pounds lighter, or you ha your facial features are a little bit different. What would you like to change about your facial features? Now, I want you to focus on this, on the body and the face, everything that you don't really care about, your, you, that you like about your appearance. I want you to change that. And I want you to look at yourself in the mirror and I want you to see what you want to see in yourself. I don't want you to do a radical change like you're somebody completely different. I want you to do this to where you can actually believe that this can happen. 
and you don't really need belief to do this, but I want it to be something that that your subconscious mind is not going to reject as something that's going to be simple for you to do. So I want you to, to imagine and I want you to visualize yourself losing weight. If you need to lose some weight, maybe tighten up a little bit, maybe um, maybe some more muscle if you're a guy or something that you would like to change about yourself that where you would feel just more confident and just more attractive. Just look at yourself and then as you're doing this towards the end of it, I want you to just focus on the feeling of the relief, the emotional charge of relief that you're now the person that you want to be. That attractiveness is now presently available to you. You're seeing this and you're feeling it in the present moment. You're thinking from it, not of it. You're thinking of it in the first person that you're actually staring at yourself in the mirror. Okay, so this is a really cool exercise because you're you're looking at the mirror at a distance from you, but you're thinking from it at the same time. So this is an easy exercise. So have some fun with this. And I want you to do this for 10 minutes for three nights. And I want you to visualize yourself looking the way that you want to look, whether it's your facial features are changed a little bit or your body has changed a little bit, lost some weight, tightened up a little bit, but you look at yourself, the the point of this is to to look at yourself and feel attractive. Whatever you need to change to be happy with yourself and love yourself, see that change now and watch what happens. Some really, really amazing results. I promise you, if you land this, do it for three nights, 10 minutes, your life will completely change. All right, guys, I love you guys very much. Let me give you a little recap here. Okay, so this is Reality Transurfing Chapter 15, I Am My Goal. If you have been ditched or suffering from a breakup or are looking for love, you must first of all love yourself. That's where the exercise comes in. But he actually goes into some other stuff here about um, a boomerang and how the world is a mirror and the vicious cycle of it, you know, the mirror circle. Okay, so also right here, I kind of like this. Um, not in your own usual style, get a magic tattoo. Maybe imagine yourself with the exercises having some t- some really cool tattoos that you've been wanting to get, something like that. A magic talisman, a pendant, or a ring. Okay, so yeah, I really like his, um, his examples here. Okay, so I love you guys very much. Give me one thing you guys are grateful for in the column box below, and I will start um, working on more of these chapters very, very soon. I know you guys have been anticipating these, and I'm, I'm going to continue. We're going to get them all done, all 78. All right, guys, I will see you guys tomorrow.